Okay, hello. So this is Janos again. I had to stop for a little intermission in the kitchen, uh, but I'm back again here. Kintaro is back too. He's checking the multimeter. Perfect. So coming back to the issue of silver, and uh, and you can go for any other uh, silver source that you like, that you prefer. If you don't have one, then Rio Grande. I can I can recommend them because they consistently have very good quality silver for audio. Anyway, uh, so what I think you all want to know is that how good are these uh, silver speaker cables, and uh, would I recommend it for specific cases or not? And uh, as you remember, what I was recommending for the Lepeti internal wiring is use massively paralleled internal cabling for your loudspeaker. And now how come I'm using here, I'm showing here, such skinny speaker cable? Uh, well, I'm showing it because this is my 20 plus year old cable. I'm not using it actively. I just brought it out to hook up the Quicksilvers. And, uh, and this experience reminded me that they are just darn good. And, uh, and also reminded me that I should just recommend them. So now what I'm using is those gauge, uh, what is that, a gauge tan? gauge 10 speaker cable twice i have like a gauge 10 running to the woofer plus another gauge 10 running to the compression driver but is this so much worse than that actually not that much worse and uh, and uh, are you missing out base with that because that's one thing that if you have this skinny speaker cable then it's going to impact on your base uh, current capacity. And it's going to depend a lot on your application, or I would say it depends all on your application. So for example, if you are thinking about uh, having a pair of high quality ultimate speaker cables for $35, the amount of silver you need for uh, five feet long uh, pair of cables then uh, that's not going to translate if you have uh, speakers that are current hungry that are of low impedance so if you want to uh, power your Wilson Audio Sabrinas or your Wilson Audio Infrasonic subwoofers then just forget about it okay that's not going to happen However, what is going to happen and what really surprised me is if you have very high impedance speakers. Uh, I have been using these for uh, with 8 ohm uh, drivers uh, when I was using them and it worked just fine. I never had any problem with them and it just gave excellent quality base extension. And now I have hooked them up to the uh, Cube Audio drivers and these are the new versions of the FC8. And guys, guess what? These are 16 ohm drivers. Yes, the version 2 Cube Audios are 16 ohm. And in that case, this speaker cable is just pure lovely with it. How lovely? Are you going to get compromised base response? Well, Let's go back to my signal generator app. So I was using this and here you can like dial it in down to 20 Hertz. And I, I was toying around with this, uh, with the cats and, uh, and I get with this speaker cable with zero negative feedback, single ended drivers in my void pipe clear audible down to 20 hertz output so clear audible and not just audible but clear crystal clear 20 hertz so if you are thinking about such a solution of having like a, a nice zero feedback amplifier 
with very high quality output transformer and having your a very high quality single and I mean single driver in in a in a in a good cabinet uh, it's going to happen with the cube audio fc8 in my void pipe so if you build this i have the plans already shared if you do that then yes down to 20 hertz you can enjoy it with this speaker cable but i must emphasize that within inside when you do the internal wires you have to use a massively parallel version so there don't skimp on it go with 10 gauge inside there and then it won't mind if you just put a gauge 20 here and uh, of course if your single ended amp has a this weeny of, a, of an output transformer do not expect 20 hertz output you need a massive beast to to put that out with zero zero feedback but it can and will happen with this basic uh, uh, cable if you build it so have fun and once you build it please give me your feedback and just be mindful that once you build it it takes quite a while for it to break in in the beginning you will see that it sounds very bright so the high frequencies will be overemphasized but after a while this brightness will go away the the wire settles in and that's when you should start to form an opinion about it so please like subscribe have an awesome day bye bye